All right, welcome back to Turnbull Garage. So today, quite a different intro. Uh, we are actually heading to Vancouver. We're going to the International Auto Show, and I thought, you know what? Let's take Turnbull, Go uh, Turnbull Garage along for the ride, and yeah, see what it's all about. It's been four years since we've had the uh, auto show in Vancouver, so I'm very much looking forward to it. So let's get on the ferry and head to Vancouver. downtown Vancouver. Jenny we downtown Vancouver downtown Vancouver here of course in Barrett Jackson I went for a ride in one of these on the track just not a big fan of the big screen what do you think of the new Mustang push the power button no bad push the power button see if the lights come on no no nothing I don't see no difference except for this ugly screen yeah looking at me it'll be so distracting yeah i don't care for the screen so much i don't like the stupid look at the ugly emergency brake what is with that dorky thing right up there i don't know i don't know i like my car better Another screen, all touch screens. Now we got the electric Hummer. Let's check, I've not sat in one of these before. Oh. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Very similar shifters on a lot of the vehicles now. Hmm. 
You look good in that. Yeah, I look better in GTR. Yeah, no, you don't look so good in that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new frontier. Let's check this out. Ah. My understanding of these is the exact same chassis and drivetrain, just did an interior fresh up. I like the steering wheel actually, quite nice. All right, this is a Toyota, I've never heard of this vehicle, a BZ4X, all electric. I don't know what this is. That is a very, very strange steering column. Yeah, very, this almost looks like a solar panel here, but it's not, oh, there we go phone charger and it's see-through so you can see when your phone goes maybe it's odd Popular, popular vehicle is a lineup for this one. Personally, I think it's one of the ugliest things made. I think Elon Musk was uh, smoking something when he designed this thing. So this is a Polestar. Again, lots of screens. Funky little shifter. Seems to be the thing nowadays, funky shifters. What do you think, Jenny? Mm. <laughs> and yellow seat belts. Got to show you this car here. This is a Polestar, one of two in Vancouver. Uh, it's a new car, but it's definitely pretty sharp. This is the sporty version. <laughs> this being the sport version, has adjustable shocks. All right, well, this vehicle I would definitely not like because this is your view. No instruments at all. Just a big iPad. Definitely not my cup of tea. It's not even heated or cooled or nothing. It's pretty bare bones, isn't it? Yeah. Very bare bones. Very boring. I gotta find out where these vehicles are made. This is a very boring vehicle. Yeah, they've all got that screen, no instruments. Although this one's got a heads up display, but uh, yeah, very bare bones car, hard plastic. So this is a Volkswagen Taos. Kind of a neat vehicle, actually. A oh, normal nice. shifter. Got a normal shifter. Yeah. Well, it's got the panoramic uh, roof. Yeah. 
It's a Cadillac Escalade. Thermal imaging camera. This thing is nice. Feel the leather in this. This thing is... This is nice. Very nice. Very nice. Kind of looks like wood. That old wood look, but sweeter. Like this, you know? Yeah. Pretty sweet. It's huge, this one. Lots of room in the back. Like driving a school bus. Lots on the bus. This probably a cooler, I bet, yeah? Focus in on the screen on this thing. <laughs> Crazy. Here's a sweet car, CTSV. Look at the horsepower. 659 horsepower. Also comes with a pretty hefty price tag, $151,000. All right, now we're sitting in a Lexus. What the heck is this thing? What is it? It's a pretend GTR. It almost looks like a GTR. I'll show you the outside. It's a bloody nice car. Carbon fiber accents. Yeah. Very nice. RCF. Lexus RCF. Yeah, I do. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's got all. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look how smooth the front end of this thing is. This is the Rivian. All right, so we're actually, we left the other show. Actually, I won't lie, quite disappointing. It was like half the size of previous years. Uh, there was no Honda, there was no Mazda, there was no Fiat, there was no Jaguar, there was no Mercedes, no BMW. Who else? No was? swag, there was no swag. No swag. And they also had the, all the displays of like the really fancy hopped up cars with none of that. So quite disappointing. Okay, so I'm back from the auto show. Um, it's actually the next day, and uh, I just wanted to follow up on the, the overall 
what it was like. Uh, it was interesting to see that um, uh, VinFast, which is a manufacturer of, of electric cars from Vietnam, they're actually, I thought they were quite boring inside, not a lot to them. Uh, Polestar had a car there, as you saw, which was really cool. Uh, what's really interesting is they actually have 0% financing for 84 months. I thought that was quite impressive. Uh, but some of the vehicles manufacturers that were not there, Dodge, Honda, Acura, Mazda, Porsche, Mercedes, BMW, Fiat. Uh, the previous years, you'd go upstairs, they'd have a, um, a whole section where you'd have Rolls Royce and all these very high-end cars all over the place and customized cars and they had swag and all kinds of stuff. All that was missing. Um, I know this is the first one they've had in four years because of COVID, uh, the chip shortage, and then it was uh, another reason they didn't have it. But uh, anyway, overall, very disappointing. Uh, I was really pumped up for the day and, uh, and unfortunately it didn't deliver. Not only that, my wife got sick and uh, yeah, that was just a very interesting trip home. But uh, anyway, we're back and uh, next video I'm going to be putting up pretty quick here is going to be on the, the Mustang. And um, yeah, we got a track day coming up here pretty quick. So the podcast, of course, is something that's coming up pretty soon. I'm still working out details with Radio Sydney. And uh, yeah, it's not going to be too much longer. We'll get that. And looking great right at the end of March. Hopefully have a, a, an hour podcast. But anyway, uh, thoughts and comments down below. Did you go to the Vancouver Auto Show? Uh, what did you think? Uh, I've read a few comments online already. Not good. But uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Have yourself a great day.